Mechanic here. Jim here at Lake Moultrie. I know it's been a bit, had some motor problems with the boat, but we're back out here. Uh, this is Harold. <laughs> I don't know who this is. It's just a pelican that flew up. But guess what? They like chicken too. <laughs> hey, buddy. Look at that. <laughs> Everything out here is eating chicken. I think I, I got Lake Moultrie ruined. <laughs> we get a drift today, nice beautiful day, nice and calm, very overcast. Haven't been on the water in about four weeks. Uh, like I was saying, had some engine problems, got the new boat. Uh, coming to Yamaha, Yamahas are great motors. I'm not down in any motor or anything, but their parts right now is really in limbo getting parts overseas. Boat motor needed a part, couldn't get it. They said it was good. It's already four weeks, six weeks, and it was supposed to ship and it didn't. Then he told me February, end of February, it may ship. So I'm like, I can't wait. I'm not gonna wait. Berkeley Outdoors had some uh, Yamaha, so had some Mercury's. I told him to throw the Mercury on there. And when the Yamaha comes in, they're gonna fix it. It's under warranty. So I'll soon have a boat motor for sale if anybody's interested. <laughs> but I've had the Mercury on the tracker, still got the tracker. Great motor, I've had that boat for three years, no problems. Uh, it's been a great motor. So let's hope we get the same, um, you know, good service out of this one is also. So we're gonna be fishing deep today. I came out here yesterday, I was breaking the new motor in, did scout out a couple places. And Mark looked like some bait fish, kind of big bait fish, could have been crappy or something, but Mark some bait fish and some marks below it. Checked it out on the uh, the ranch sack of target and it looks like these fish were feeding and it was around noon so right now it's about 11 30 decided to push it back come out here a little bit later i'm going to get lines out the boat hopefully we don't get a lot of wind because i forgot my drift socks on the other boat i knew it was good to get something i don't think we're going to need them at this point as long as the wind stays like this we're going to get the lines out use demon dragons see if we can catch a catfish let's get it going Okay, we got the boat in position. We're basically going to be dragging right down the edge of the main channel right here in Lake Moultrie. So it's about 30, 35 foot right in that channel. We're going to get as far on that edge to actually drag the baits right down the side of it is what we're going to try to do. Different, you know, levels of it. So we're going to be drifting. You can put a plane of boards on. Let's get some chicken out here on Lake Moultrie and see if we still remember how to do this thing. We got the Demon Dragon Brute Series. Small pieces of chicken. I know I usually use big pieces of chicken. We're gonna go with small pieces today just because it's cold and I think the fish may be a little finicky. So we're gonna put some small pieces out there. Got a 2.5 drift weight. Yeah, sorry, Harold. <laughs> I'm gonna start getting them out. Fish on, fish on. Got the first fish on. We've been drifting 15 minutes. Deep water. I don't think he's a monster. He don't feel like it yet, but. First fishing trip in the boat. Uh, in about a month, so I'm ready to catch a fish. <laughs> At this point, I don't care if it's a dink or what, I'm just ready to catch a fish. I marked a couple of fish who were fishing, like I was saying, on that edge. Still got that planer board in the water, so. We're drifting about 0.6. I know I've heard a lot of people say, you got to go 0.3, 0.4. 
when it's cold uh it's 35 degrees out here we're going 0 0.6 and i think sometimes that gets you a reaction bite even if they don't want to bite especially when you get that demon dragon on there It might be a more of a reaction bite versus a feeding, you know, actually feeding bite. There we go. Boy, he's cold as ice. Jeez. <laughs> I got better nerves than I do. But uh, yeah, that's that demon dragon. And that's the hooker's trimmer tackle. I really like this one. It's got that reflective kind of sheen to it. <laughs> How good was that hook set? It's got that reflectiveness to it. And uh, I think it kind of replicates a crappy. That's what it, it looks like to me. I think I marked some crappy out here yesterday on the uh, active target. I think I come across again them today. So, of course, this catfish ain't eating too big of a crappy. But still, he tried to get that big brute. So let's get this guy back in the water, see if we can get another one. It's a good way to start out. Okay, bud. Okay, I don't know how well that's showing up, but this is what I wanted to show you on the active target. See that school of fish right there? See how they're kind of broke up into bigger pieces or bigger fish? If it's a school of small fish, you'll just see like a big bubble almost. But see how it's kind of individual there? So that's probably crappy. Um, I don't know if brim come out this deep, but it could be crappy. And I think that's what these catfish are coming out here after. So we're going to keep drifting through this area and see if we can get a big one hanging out. Now, I've had a lot of people um, message me and said, you should have gotten a multi-bar rod holder and just put your monster rod holders on the multi-bar rack. I've never had the multi-bar rack. Um, I'm sure it's great. But there's a reason I got this one. I wanted a cutting board up here, up high, and uh, I drift sometimes just very rough out here. So I like this. It gives me something to something to grab sometime because uh, it, it gets dicey out here. So it doesn't really get in my way at all. Um, I got plenty of room. I got plenty of room to get the fish in through the sides. When I do remember my drift socks, I just clip them right there. Just lean over the side, clip, not in the way. And I think it looks kind of cool with that silver on the silver. I don't know, it's just me. Just pull them over here. There we go, nice and easy. These monster rod holder nets, this hydro web net, they're big and they could get in your way all day, this big net. But when you hook a 50, 60 pound fish, you can love this net. It's got a deep basket. This fish here could live in this net. <laughs> Got a fish over here. Got a fish on this side. Other fish is still in the net. Don't know how big this guy is yet. It ain't hot or anything, so that fish should be fine in that net for a minute or two. Fish on the line, fish in the net. I mean, out here on the lake. Yeah, it's a little cold. But the fish are out here. You can catch them. 
You just got to get out here on the lake. There we go. I don't know if that counts as doubled up, but two fish in the boat, one time. Let's uh, let's get these guys back in the water. Here's the first little guy about the size of the first one we caught. Uh, let's get him back in. Spoosh. Okay, here's the biggest one so far today. He's 50 pounds. <laughs> He's probably eight pounds, maybe six. Um, but hey, we having fun. We had to catch some cold water lake multi catfish. Get out here. They biting. Let's get this guy back in. Okay, buddy. Oh, that was a good takedown. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that was a good takedown. I don't know how big he is. I don't know how big he thinks he is. That's the takedowns I like. I let him run with it a little bit. Make sure he was hooked up. He had so much tension, I figured he would... There we go. I figured he'd do the job itself. Especially with these circle hooks drifting. You really don't have to set the hook. Anchor fishing's another story. It's, it's good to reel down when you anchor fishing, definitely. That was a good takedown. That's why I love catfishing. You can, you can catch catfish year round. Sometimes it takes a little more patience which today's been a pretty smooth day. It's the kind of days you, you like when you catch some smaller ones to keep you entertained and then you hook up on a good one. Still that same general area like we started, just going right down the channel wall. Fish on that line somewhere. <laughs> I ain't seen him yet. There's a fish on there. What I would like to do is get him over here and clear him this way. Don't have to worry about fishing lines. Because he wants to take a run. Whoa, like that. It's like he wants to take a run like that. <laughs> my sun is glaring off the waters right in my eyes. It's going back this way. I think we got a good one. I think we got a good one. Let me see if I could reach that. Nope. I was gonna try to reach that net behind me, but <laughs> he's got other plans. We got something. <laughs> we got something today. Okay, I got the net ready. Got the net on hand. He's got plenty of energy. He's uh, actually turned the boat a little bit. 
Got some lines kind of zigzagging, crossing, but I don't care. We can chop them off. Oh, I can see him. He's a good fish. There he is. Might have another line hooked. Yeah, I think he's got another line. But we don't care. He don't look like he's hooked that great. From what I can see. Come on over this way, buddy. We'll try to get him in one swoop. jacked up there we go we got him we got him chicken for the win guess who's back <laughs> I'm sorry Okay, I got my glove for him. I don't want to rip my hand apart. He's still bumping around and bombing the boat a lot. Ah, I'm happy. First trip back out on the boat, new motor. Wow. Lake Moultrie, I love this lake. It's a beautiful catfish. Look at this guy. He fought too. Cold water, he fought. Beautiful catfish. We get to get it back in the water. Beautiful fish. Let's get it back in. Back in you go. Yeah. Just a day's work out here on Lake Moultrie. <laughs> it happens like that sometimes. Um, sometimes it takes me five trips to get a fish like that. Sometimes you come out and mark some fish and it just catch them that day. That's just that's how it works sometimes. The more you do it, the more those windows are happen to where it happens more often. Just gotta get on the lake Spend time on the lake, and it'll happen. We got one hooked up right here. Let's see if I can redeem myself. I actually missed a fish about 15 minutes ago. It didn't feel as big as the first one, that uh, the biggest one that I caught so far. But it felt like a good fish. It felt like a good 25 pound fish or so. It, it ripped the planer board underneath the water. Now this one here's got some weight to it also. Definitely. Let's see if we can't get him over here. And that's that, uh, I think it's Hookus Terminal Tackle, Demon Dragon. It looks like a crappie to me. And I think that's what these catfish could be feeding on out here. It's got that nice reflective. It looks, you can see it in this water, this green teal Lake Moultrie water. It shows up good out here. Okay. That's a Brute Series Demon Dragon, and they're louder than the smaller ones. I think the smaller ones are a three inch, this one's a four. It's got a different tone to it. You can see a belly on that one. These catfish are feeding good out here. Uh, I can feel the mussel shells in the stomach. So mussels, that's probably what they're eating out here. Chicken, you know, good substitute. We're gonna get this guy back in. Okay, buddy. That's going to be it for this episode of Fishing and Gear. Um, had a great day out here. Good to be on the water. Just one tip before I go. If you're not going to use your chicken when you're done, don't waste it. You got wild, you got wild life out here. It's hungry. So. <laughs> uh -oh. 
the next episode of Mission of Gear. We out.